Hey everybody, welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. We are, of course, on the mage today. We're going to be on the mage in Classic from now on. I've had to make some decisions about how to best use our time together. What is going on here? We have some low-level Grim Totem Ruffians that we absolutely don't seem to have any quest for. Oh no, we do! <laughs> I forgot that we picked these up uh, last time. Okay. Uh, it's unfortunate that they're low level, but we can still get credit for the quest. We're just not going to get any experience for killing them individually. Uh, but they are going to be easier to defeat because of their lowly level 14 status. And it is a kill quest, so we should be able to do it fairly quickly. I hope you are all well today. And adjusting to what may be the new normal. Whatever that means for each of us is different. But I'm glad to have you here. I'm not going to say I feel bad for these guys. They are Grim Totem, but... They don't particularly stand a chance against us. We're gonna go Oom though, that could help them out. I need more mana. Yes, you do. That conjured water just isn't cutting it anymore. It hasn't cut it for a while. It's just getting more pronounced how awful it is. Let's sheep this one and deal with this one. I need a target. I'm out of range. We're not going to have a lot of mana to deal with this guy, but we shouldn't need a ton. We basically have to consume the entire thing to get to full. And our arcane intellect is about to fall off. I was able to use our tailoring to make a second 8 slot bag to replace one of our 6 slot bags. So that felt good. It hasn't felt good not having herbalism. But being able to make a bag upgrade was promising. We just need a lot more wool cloth at this point, which we're not really getting much of. And we're certainly not going to get any from these guys. Because they're only level 15. And we don't need linen anymore to skill up our tailoring. We need wool. Lots and lots of wool. Wow, 
we only need two more ruffians. So ruffian way back here. Can probably get him without pulling anybody else. Her, rather. We can get her. Okay, and then we need one more. We need to be careful on the way out of here. We could probably go turn this one in. I think the Venture Company loggers are a bit further in. Do I want to risk running through the middle of these guys? Not particularly. I think I want to run out and turn this one in in case it chains into another quest. And then we'll come back and we'll have to go a bit deeper to find the loggers. We also have to find a goblin and then we need to find spiders. At least I'm assuming it turns in back out here, where we picked it up. Yeah, it does. Well, we avenged his village. Let's see if there's anything else we can do for him. Hail. I thank you, but I will never forget what the Grim Totem have done to my village. Here we go. Kill Grundig Dark Cloud. You've done a fine job killing Grim Toten. If you dare, Grundig Dark Cloud and his personal band of brutes is by far the worst of the lot. He was the one who led the brutal attack on my village. You will find him in Grim Toten Post, a bit further up the path to the west. Kill him, and I will be forever grateful. Kill Grundig Dark Cloud and six Grim Toten brutes. Okay. He's at Grim Totem Post, a bit further up the path. So it's a good thing we this came back and, and grabbed this. That was a good call, I think. We should probably be tracking this. So we need brutes. I'm assuming they're just going to be brutes all around him and we don't have to worry about looking for them. Further up the path to the west, he had said. I'm thinking it's going to be this way. It's kind of more southwest, but it's as westwardly as we can get and still be on a path to somewhere. That's a mercenary. And so this was the village that got burned to the ground, I'm assuming.
I see like a structure on the mini map. I don't know if that's worth checking out. He said he was at Grim Totem Post. I just don't know if that's going to be an actual place. Um, Kea Flathoof. Greetings. Just kind of walking along. Oh, this must be some kind of escort quest that this person is doing. Here we go. Here's Grim Totem Post. Spoiler alert, there's probably an escort quest back here somewhere. And here's some brutes. Oh, look, they're level 16, so we'll get a little bit of experience for fighting these guys. That's good. Oh, they have some kind of charge. We have mana shield that we could use mana to absorb damage. So we have a couple things we can do. Pretty versatile. We don't need sorcerers, do we? I think we only need brutes. We were about to be out of range. We're going to have to deal with some of these other guys, even if we don't need them. We might as well have Dampened Magic on, that would be a great idea. I kind of wish that Blink was off the global cooldown, that would be pretty damn handy. That way we could hit our Frost Nova and immediately Blink through the target. Maybe that would be overpowered in PvP, I guess. But that's what happens when you try to balance PvE and PvP. I think it would be awesome for PvE. Um, well, I don't think we need any of these guys. The question is, where's this um, Grundig Dark Cloud going to be? Because I don't see him like right down here. So maybe we're going to have to fight our way through all of this? Seems unlikely, but... I mean, we can do it. I guess they weren't linked, because she didn't react when we did that. We're gonna have to drink after this. It's too far. We might need this Stormer for a different quest as well. I think it's a quest we can do from any Thunder Lizard. Including those in the Far Southern Barrens. Seems like we probably did have to go this way, so... Uh, 
Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. It's too far away. Well, we are out of mana, so there's that. I think we're okay. She's gonna run in a minute. Well, that's all the brutes we need. What did we get there? A wand, it looked like. Oh no, held an offhand. So if we were to get, like, an intellect sword, I'm not sure if we can equip daggers. We right now only have staves, or staves, and wands. We'll have to train other things. I'm fairly certain we could wield swords as a mage. I could be totally wrong about that, but um, I don't know. We'll find out. Alright, I'd love to locate this guy that we need. And, but it seems like they just want us to clear out the whole camp. But that wasn't the quest. We got lucky that he didn't run. None of these guys are guys that we need. Let's check out inside this uh, tent. Uh, the well, who is that? Gorhoof. We don't need a Gorhoof. We need a Grundig. Who the hell is Gorhoof? Alright. Well, there's only one way to find out. Well, he didn't run, and he didn't have anything that we needed, so I don't know who he was, but he wasn't Grundig, which begs the question, where the hell is Grundig? <laughs> Nowhere to be found. Okay, well, let's uh, think about this for a minute. I'm not really seeing any other major structures. He's not inside of that tiny tent down there. I guess he could be like all the way back here, but this is dinging as a totally different location. So now I'm a little concerned. Let's just check back down this way and make sure that it's uh, not a case of him, like, respawning somewhere behind us. We could likely avoid these? Well, we can avoid some of them. Not all of them, unfortunately. These ones aren't giving us any kill experience, so... Kind of disappointing. I never realized you could start Stone Talon at such a low level. Get him, get him! 
Ooh, shit. Okay, well. There he is. Okay. So, he was actually much easier to find. If we had been patient and waited for respawns, we could have had him already. Excellent. Instead, we killed somebody else, and he'll probably be the next person that we're sent after. At least now we know where he'll be. Alright, well, I think it's fine to just, oh, look at this. Can I get up here? I certainly can. I think it's fine to just go turn this in as well, just to make sure that he doesn't send us out to do anything else, because we did find that other guy who we annihilated. And I don't know if that uh, will come back and we'll have to go back out there again, so we'll see. That was a close one. Looks like the sun has finally went down in the Stone Talon Mountains. Doesn't seem as dark as it possibly could be for nighttime. I wish it would get a little bit darker. More pronounced uh, day nighttime lighting would be welcome, uh, you know, for immersion. I could, uh, I think I had been messing with my gamma anyway, because I'm not convinced that it's probably could be somewhere around here. And I, and I don't think that's going to be too dark. I think publishing in 1440, I think I can afford to be, go a little darker. And it probably won't look too dark on YouTube. There we go. We'll just stick with this. This is pretty good. Greetings. Grundig Dark Cloud is dead. I will always be grateful for what you've done here today. Be careful. Okay, he doesn't have anything else. Well, now we know. And we can proceed. I really would like to do Wailing Caverns. See how that works out. Hey, look at that. I think we're going to do this. Stay tuned. <laughs> 